Hey guys, um, so this video is just a quick video that someone requested um, on how to memory hack. So I'm going to be very quick because I'm actually in a rush and um, you may have noticed I actually haven't uploaded a video in a long time. I've been kind of busy. So um, this is TLP, it's just the last round my head open. Um, this is the bonus engine. So what, I'm, what memory hacking is essentially you're modifying what's in the memory. Um, like while the game is playing. So while the game is playing, it doesn't actually um, like edit the ROM or anything like that. It um, doesn't actually edit the game file. It puts everything into the memory. It inserts data there. It reloads it later. Um, it displays data in certain areas. So pretty much if you, if you can edit the memory, you can essentially edit what's happening in the game while it's happening. So um, it, it's kind of like cheat codes. Um, Except cheat codes are activated usually like almost all the time, or else they require like a certain button to be activated or something like that. Uh, memory hacking is usually just like a quick edit to something, um, just in a like a specific instance. And in a way, it's more convenient, and um, sometimes it's not more convenient. So both cheat codes and memory hacking have their uh, advantages and disadvantages. For hackers, memory hacking is a little bit more advantageous, I, I'd say. So um, with that, um, let's get started. So first of all, I realize the screen is a bit limited in uh, size here, you could say. But um, pretty much, you need to find, you need to have an, um, let's start here. Go to Tools in VBA and go to memory viewer and this will show you um, what's happening. I already have another memory viewer open. Um, this will show what's happening. So this stuff does, you don't have to worry too much about this. Pretty much you need to enter an offset here and at that offset will be some data in hex or hexadecimal which won't really make sense by itself but um, essentially for you to edit the game you need to edit this data here. And I'll just do a quick example of character data. Character data is, I believe, OX48 bytes. So what the 0x means beforehand is it's like a prefix for hexadecimal. So if each line is 16 numbers or OX10 bytes, each each like two digits here is a byte. So um, if I go OX48, is this is 10, it's 20, 30, 40, and then I go 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So up to here, and then this is the second character. And if I do it again, this is the third character, and so on and so forth. So how do I know that the character data starts at this random offset of 202BD50? Well, I have that memorized, but if you're wondering where I got it from, it is from this game facts list that I'm trying to put in the screen here. Whoopsies. Um, so I'm going up. So what this, this actually is is a cheat code thing off of GameFAQs. And pretty much it's a slot one here. So it has um, like cheat codes for various things. So it starts off with this part. And if you look closely, the, the 202BD50 is from there. Now this first digit here you just want to kind of ignore that. Um, it has to do with the actual cheat code. So we're not we're not really using it um, as, as a cheat code exactly. So just ignore this digit here, the 8 or the 3 or whatever. Uh, I believe that actually says how many parameters it has. And this parameter here, we're not um, we're not actually editing it. We're going to edit it manually. So here it says the parameter is YYZZ. It's two parameters or two bytes. Um, and I could say more about that, but I really don't want to. So. Let's try and edit something a little bit more, I guess, tangible than portrait or class. When it actually says portrait, it actually it's actually the character. It's actually a pointer to the character's data, but um, don't worry too much about that. So let's try changing the current HP. So that's at 202 BD63. So notice I ignore the three. So you can either go there by taping it here, or you can just count. So like I would know that the current HP is right here, and if you actually um, check in the bottom right corner, it shows the current address. So that kind of helps you. But um, you can also just type it right up here, and then it'll kind of center it on that byte. So this is the current HP byte. So if you look in the game, it says he has 50 HP. 
Now it says 32 here. Why is it 32? Because it's a hexadecimal. It's a different counting system. So um, use a program like MS Calculator. Um, we'll open that real quick. Turn it to programmer's mode. If you type in 32 in hex and go press on decimal, it'll convert it to 50. So let's make it um, let's make it 20 HP instead because clearly I don't want it to survive. So 20 in decimal, uh, 20 or the decimal number 20 rather is 14 in hex. So if I change the 14. Now notice how the graphics here don't really update. It's because it might update the, the HP, but the graphics won't update until I go off of him and I go back. And then it'll show his HP bars down. Um, so you can edit similarly other stuff like that. So for instance, if I went to this other offset that you don't know. Um, let me find it. Actually, I might have I might have remembered it wrong. Um, Okay, see now I'm just making a fool out of myself. But for instance, you can also edit things such as the coordinates of the character. So for instance, I could change this to OC08 to, let's change it to 0308. Okay, and I just click off of it. Now right now it looks like everything is normal right now. But if I could click on another unit, now what it happened is it doesn't update the map sprite until I move another unit. So the game won't update the data until it's kind of programmed to. Now once I do that, now it updated it, now it puts them over here. If you count in the coordinate system, this is 0, 0. It goes 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's at 3, 8 is where I warped them to. If you look in here, the coordinates are 0, 3, and 0, 8. So that's basically the gist of memory hacking. And with that, you can do stuff like change HP, uh, modify character stats, level, uh, warping warp characters, not really warping, you're just changing the coordinates in the RAM. Uh, you can even edit stuff like supports, their current inventory, um, various stuff like that. So it's pretty fun. You can also revive characters. Um, that's That involves what's called the turn status byte. So if you, I'll just show this really quick because I have to go um, to practice soon. 202BD5C is the interest for the turn status. Now, it, it the game facts thing gives some information, but essentially, if a character is dead, their turn status will usually be um, either 05 or uh, 47. And there's various reasons for what these numbers are. Uh, it's called a bitmap, but I don't really have time to explain it, and it, it may not be practical for most people. So I'm just gonna say that if you see an 05 at 202BD5C, type here. Um, so let's say this were an 05, uh, that means the character is, is essentially dead. So even if you make their HP, um, even if they have like max HP, if you put this byte, um, the character will like disappear. So I have to click on him to update it. You see, so the character is gone. Even if I look in the unit list, he's not there. So, um, but if I just fix that real quick and make it a zero zero again, then I update the map sprite. Sadly, you have to click on it, so it does that. Now he's back here, and he's back in the unit list. So keep in mind that um, if, I, if let's say he had zero HP, so where's his HP? Um, so right now it's at 14, or oh, it's 14 HP. So let's change it to zero, zero. So technically speaking, he can like survive with zero HP. But what happens is once he attacks, uh, he doesn't actually have anything to attack with. But once he attacks, the game will like kind of look and it'll say, oh, he has zero HP, he's actually dead. So, um, It'll like fix it afterwards, so that's why even if you revive a character with that, you have to make sure their HP is above zero, and you have to make sure that the turn status byte, which is at that offset I mentioned, uh, OX202 BD5C, you can see it shows the offset in the bottom right, uh, make sure that it's an 05. So that's the basic on how Dragon Balls work. If you've watched the um, any of my LPs where I memory hack, because eh, because I'm, I don't know, lazy and fun. For the record, I do know how to play Fire Emblem for real. I have been playing Fire Emblem Awakening. Uh, I'm currently doing a Lunatic Classic run. It's my second playthrough. It's taking a while. But um, yeah, that's the gist of things. So with that, I've got to go. So hopefully this helps the guy who requested the video to memory hack, and maybe it'll help someone else too. Uh, with that, I'll see you guys later.